So I have a basic fragment shader up and running. If you don't know how to do that, I'll have a link in the description below or a card on the uh, the top right. So I've just loaded a texture in using the utex0 and the texture2d function or method. I'm not gonna go over this. It's a simple function, you can just Google it. it just allows you to load textures or images into your, or onto your canvas. So before we begin actually constructing the mirror dimension, let's do this. Let's speed up the X values by two. So we get that. And let's clear off this debris or this blending of colors on the right. So why did we, there you go. So why did we speed up the values by two? And why is there even that stuff on the right? Well, it has to do with how your fragment shader, let me get the whiteboard back up. It has to do with how your fragment shader is handling uh, textures. So when you load in a texture or an image or a texture, it's bound to a certain dimension. And so it's always from zero to one, no matter what you do. This is one, so let's just say this is the zero, zero pixel. This is the one, zero pixel. This is, of course, the one, one pixel. And this is the zero, one pixel. So no matter what you do, your image is fixed in this dimension from zero to one. However, the canvas that we're playing on isn't fixed. The default is the exact same. So that's our zero, zero. This is our one, zero. This is our one, one, and this is our zero, one. And so that's why when we overlay an image onto a, a wider canvas, we get the image stretched out over there. So the image normally would be zero to one here, but the canvas is zero all the way to one over here. So when we speed it up, we're saying our canvas is no longer from zero to one. It's from zero to two. So this is two, zero, it should be two, one. And right here is the one, zero. And so this zero to one, right here is overlaid onto our canvas zero to one here. And so that's why the image is on the left half, but not the right half. So why do we have all of this on the right half then? Well, when your fragment shader loads in a texture, it doesn't just load in the texture and then dead space on the right. It takes the end values of the image and just stretches them or interpolates them, or you could say bleeds them onto the rest of the canvas. That's where we're getting all of these stuff here. These guys, are the end values of these guys down here. So just clear it off. You don't need to do this. I think it just looks uh, looks better. Anyway, so that's just a bit of a cleaning up of the image. Let's move on to the mirror dimension. What is the, what do I want to save here? I'll save that one zero. What is the mirror dimension? Well, it's a dimension where there's some sort of midpoint, the mirror, and then the left half, the values, mirror the right half. So these values are mirrored on this side here. Now for this video, we're just gonna mirror the X axis, not the Y axis. So how do we get the mirror dimension? You can apply it to your X axis or Y axis. We're just doing the X axis. Well, we use a simple mathematical, I'd call it a trick, mechanism, mechanic, algorithm. So let's say we have a number line that starts at zero. This is the zero. And then we're just increasing one, two, three, four, even 0 0.10, 0 0.20, whatever it is. We're just increasing all the way up to a max number we'll call N. And we'll call any number we choose in this number line, we'll call it A. And so any, the equivalent of A in the mirror dimension, so M would be the equivalent of A once we do a transformation, would be equal to a number in your number line times the max minus that same number. When we apply this algorithm to the X axis, we're gonna, well, I'll show you. So let's pick out some values. We'll pick out the zero, we'll pick out the one, we'll pick out the two, let's pick out 0 0.5. Let's do 0 0.5 here. And so the black markings are the normal dimension, the red markings will be the mirror dimension. So that's 0 0.5, and then one plus 0 0.5 would be 1.5. So let's apply this algorithm to these values. What is, I shouldn't do it like that one. What is zero, times the max in this dimension is of course two. What is zero times two minus zero? Of course it's zero. So the zero, the equivalent of zero in the mirror dimension is still zero. How about 0 0.5? What is 0 0.5 times the max two minus 0 0.5? Well that's 0 0.5 times 1.5, which is equal to 0. I think it's 0 0.75. So the equivalent of 0 0.5 in your mirror dimension is 0 0.75. How about one? What is one times two minus one? Two minus one is one, one times one is one. This is our mirror, that's the mirror value. The middle value is always just gonna be n, the max, divided by two, squared. 
it's not three, it's squared. How about 1.5? What is 1.5 times two minus 1.5? Well, that's the equivalent of 1.5 times 0 0.5. But hold up, isn't 1.5 times 0 0.5 the exact same as 0 0.5 times 1.5? Well, yes it is. So we have a 0 0.75 for this guy. So this is where the mirror effect comes in. So 0 0.5, it's mirror in the mirror dimension is 0.75. 1.5, its mirror in the mirror dimension is also 0.75. Now how about two? Let's do two over here. Two times two minus two. Two times zero is equal to zero. See the equivalent of your max in your mirror dimension is the equivalent of your main, or excuse me, your min or your initial value, which is zero. So as you can see, we get this effect where we go from zero all the way to one, and then from one all the way back down to zero. So that's how we construct a mirror dimension. And again, we've just done it on the x axis. We can do it on the y, but just for this video, we're gonna do it on the x. Let's go into the code and apply this algorithm right here. So we'll just do it right here before we print the texture to the, uh, the canvas. So we're gonna say the mirror dimension value is equal to the original value times our max, which is 2.0, minus the original value, semicolon, and just like that, we've created a mirror dimension. Now, you may be asking yourself, you may have noticed, why is the image skewed like that? I thought in the mirror dimension, specifically for this uh, video, we went from zero, use a different color, let's use purple, that purple, mm, yellow, purple, uh, yeah, purple. I thought we went from zero, to one, and this one would be from one to zero. And this image, again, is fixed. It goes from zero to one. So why isn't the image overlaying on the left side and the right side perfectly? Why are we getting this skewing effect? Well, this has nothing to do with the actual math. The math adds up. It has to do with how the textures are handled in your fragment shader. And so, like I said with your texture, it's fixed. So it goes from zero to one. And so this is always gonna be the zero, zero pixel. This is always gonna be the one, zero pixel. And this right here is always gonna be the 0 0.5 pixel. When we applied our mirror dimension, the original 0 0.5 right here, this guy right here, let's take off the mirror dimension. Pay attention to how this image looks on the, on the other left. So take off the mirror dimension. It looks perfect, right? It's balanced, the aspect ratio is perfect. Apply the mirror dimension, we get this skewed. What's happening? Well, in the perfect zero or non mirror dimension, 0 0.5 here matches up with the exact same 0 0.5 in our mirror dimension, or excuse me, our normal dimension. When we apply the mirror dimension, where 0 0.5 was is now 0 0.75. 0 0.75 is somewhere here on the image. So 0 0.75 now goes where 0 0.5 used to go. This is why we're getting a squished or sped up values on the X axis. So I'm gonna copy and paste some code which undoes this stuff and then we'll talk. All right, so I've added two lines of code, line 14 right here and line 18 right here. I'm not, not gonna go detailed like I did with the actual algorithm here. You can figure it out, it's pretty simple. If you want me to expand on this, just leave a, a comment in the comment section below. All we're doing is we're holding the original number of the of the pixel, which would be the 0 0.5 in the non-mirror dimension. Then we're applying this little uh, this, uh, mathematical algorithm to undo what it did. So the mirror dimension does two things. Let me just do it, let's move over to the left just a bit. So when you go into the mirror dimension, you're doing two things to your canvas. Number one, you're mirroring the left and right. That's pretty obvious, right? So you're mirroring. Number two is, which is not obvious, but you, now you know what's happening, is you're restructuring the increments, the way they're playing out in your, uh, on your canvas. So restructuring increments. Let's move back to the left just a bit. So not only are we mirroring the left half and the right half, we're actually changing where the values show up. It's still zero to one, but the 0 0.5 now shifts here in the mirrored dimension. And where 0 0.5 was is now 0 0.75. So all that, those two lines do, line 14 and line 18 do, is they say, hey, of the mirror dimension, I wanna keep this functionality right here, that's perfect. 
I don't want you to restructure where the increments go. So all that line, those two lines do, it just undo or it undoes this part here. You know where the 0 0.5 was and then you change it to 0 0.75? I need you to undo that. Where the 0 0.5 was, keep it where it was, and then move the 0 0.75 somewhere here where it's supposed to be. Anyways, I'm not going to go over the code too much, but that's uh, that's just how we undo the uh, the second part of the mirror dimension. Anyways, that's going to be it for this video. Leave a like. It helps the channel grow. Subscribe if you haven't already subscribed, and I will see you guys in the next video. And I think the next video is going to be, it might be using the mirror dimension and drawing a square in that. It'll be a quick video, but now you guys know what the mirror dimension is. And we just mirrored across the, uh, the x-axis. You could have easily done the y. We just have to incorporate the y like this. y and y. And right here. y as well. And that's y right there. But just for the sake of aesthetics in the video, we didn't. We just kept the, uh, the x-axis. Anyways, I'll see you guys in that video.